My adventurous peeps, this is Kat aka Kakibot and I am welcoming you to our brand new series about the North Coast 500. This is something we've wanted to do forever and first let me just say that uh, this is not our home turf. We are not experts on North Coast 500. I am already understanding that maybe we have planned this slightly poorly because we didn't quite have the amount of holiday time we should have spent on this while planning it. Well, we're gonna do our best anyway. Today we're traveling from Inverness to Leipster and after that we're gonna go to John O'Groats. So this video is gonna end there and I thought it would be fun to kind of organize these three videos by the three different coasts we're going to be visiting. Yay! Organizing things, my favorite thing. We didn't quite have enough time to spend in Inverness to really tell you what to do and see here and the castle is actually under some scaffolding right now, so it's not as pretty as usual. It's supposed to be out of the scaffolding by 2025, so I think that at that point we're gonna come back and do the whole kind of 24 or 48 hours here in Inverness. For now I'm just gonna say we are staying in a nice hotel, Glenmore, next to the Riverness, beautiful area, especially on a day like this. And our favorite restaurant here is kind of random it's a jamaican eatery where we always get the curried goat and it's delicious and it gave us all the energy and iron for our long 500 mile drive because we need strength for driving well i don't i'm not a driver simon is the driver uh send us a super thanks if you want to support simon's efforts <laughs> driving me around while i'm living my dream making youtube videos for you now we're gonna hop into the car and get on our way. It's not even 10 a.m. yet, which I guess for a lot of you might be late in the day, but for us, especially when we spent like one hour figuring out where to shoot this intro, it's pretty early, so first success. Our first stop is the Black Isle, which is this peninsula just north of Inverness. I'm really excited to see it. It looks like it's gonna be great for taking beautiful B-roll. We might even be lucky enough to see some dolphins maybe on a day like this we're already being very lucky so yeah we're gonna hop in the car and grab our brand new drone and if we can't give you any like expert tips because this is our first time we can at least give you some cautionary tales let's do this let's go to black isle first you excited for the drive yeah let's support it Whee. We almost missed out on Cromarty, but let me tell you why you shouldn't consider making the same mistake. This place has the most chill views over the bay, a delightful coffee shop slinging the most delicious drinks, and even a great local brewery. Also kind of fascinating seeing an oil rig being built from this up close. Time for lunch, but some time for ice cream. And the perfect place for that is Black Isle Dairy, who have this self-service farm shop, which is amazing if you want to avoid talking to people, because you know we didn't go this far into the north to talk to people. <laughs> no, that's it's a lie. Everyone here is like super friendly, and you can say hi to anyone. You have like a whole thing of cheeses and butters. Um, they even have the minger. As you can tell, 
Uh, you can pay by card in most of these. The only thing you can't pay by card is the ice cream. Uh, you can get them in pints, but you also have like the tiny little snack sizes. I think I'm kind of feeling like a little um, mint chocolate. How do you feel about mint chocolate? Do you like mint chocolate? Love it. Cash, please. <laughs> Husband, give cash, please. So he's buying the bottle. It's wedged. <laughs> no. <laughs> he got the permission to enter the secret uh, bottle cave. <laughs> oh, it's just a shot menu pack for the uh, milk. Oh. <laughs> Well, I assume that it was stop. Oh, really good. Strathpeffer, a little Victorian spa village on the way north, is quite unlike any other place in Scotland I've ever been to. Stop here for a little lunch or coffee pit stop and obviously a photo opportunity. Lunch time! What did you get? Cheese and then roll. And uh, rogue cuke. We made it to Dunrobin Castle. This is probably among like top three things that I wanted to see during this trip. It's been designed by the same architect uh, who's behind the Houses of Parliament down in London. It's based off like French style chateaus. As you can tell, like it doesn't look like a Scottish castle, which to me as a continental European, I find this appealing. Uh, for the ticket, which costs 12 pounds per person, you get to visit the grounds, this beautiful garden from which I think you can take the most like Instagram-y pictures. Uh, and also you can visit the inside which are fascinating and it is truly a, a beautifully upkept piece of property so definitely give it a go I think that you will probably need about an hour for both uh, it is one of the busiest sites on NC 500 for us so far because most of the other ones were just empty um, but uh, it's not like super busy by any means also online they said that they're finishing about 4 30 but now they told us that the gardens close at 7 so you have plenty of time you don't have to do what we did which was to skip a whole bunch of interesting things just so we can make it here on time but we are now gonna commit a cardinal sin of NC500 and we're actually gonna backtrack and visit some of the other places. Well anyway, uh, now the only thing that's missing from this little talky bit is me pretending to be a beautiful lady Instagrammer and frolic towards the, the castle. So yeah, uh, I'm totally ready to frolic. <laughs> Did I frolic right? Dornoch deserves more time than just a quick stop, but for us with our schedule, it was just the perfect place to pick up tomorrow's breakfast and some local beer for the evening. Because we finally made it.
like we stopped by I think about three other places that are known for dolphin sightings and seal sightings and we finally made it we made it to this little bird reserve and there's actually uh, seals Twenty quid. Today is an amazing day. <laughs> my brother's car up this in snow because it's because his car had no traction but the worst bit's on the other side where we have to come up and go around a sharp bend on a cliff so uh, that sounds like a part of the spartan race well there's escape lanes for um lorries that's how bad this is mm. oh my my ears yeah your ears are popping because we're dropping mm. so quickly danger no parking yeah because if you go in there you fall waist axle deep into sand <laughs> yeah, sorry, hang on. Yeah, it gets worse. Because now we're going to go up the other side. Oh, I see they've increased the quality of the uh, barrier. Honey. Honey. Sorry. That's not advertising friendly. Well, fix it in post. Are you telling me that you can see baby sheep from the loo? Yeah, right there. We failed at uh, sourcing uh, one use barbecue. We just picked up some pasta from Tesco. We got these fancy goat cheese pasta bits. Arabiata sauce, Tom's, which in this economy is basically like saffron, basil, parmesan, my line cook, husband, oh that too, and also for tomorrow breakfast I picked up this uh, cake from Cromarty Bakery, which I'm looking forward to, uh, because I thought, you know, I was kind of sad that I didn't get anything breakfasty that's very local, very very north and this is from the Black Isle where we went earlier. So here we are at the Hill of Many Stains. And I can confirm, there are many stains. Yeah, it's pretty typical for us that uh, we came to a place to see some nice, like, geological miracle and instead... Found a cat. Found a cat.
Wally Go Steps are a charmingly life-threatening attraction. I would be super cautious on a wet day, because some portions of the stairs are actually quite wonky. This used to be a natural harbour, a naturally made place for fishermen to land boats and offload their daily catch onto their women, who then buffly walked up and down these stone stairs with extra slimy cargo. Wick. Another place to replenish snack supplies or even grab a boat tour over to Waligo Steps, which seemed super exciting. We went to Morag's for a little comforting lunch and then it was time to get back on the road. We made it peeps, we are at the Jono Groats, the most northeastern point of mainland Scotland. And those guys in that boat are trying to one up us because they're going all the way to Orkneys. Uh, but you know, we have our own set of rules, so this is our goal. As you can tell, it is hecking windy here. Simon has just tried to make my hair look nice for like five minutes straight. Very good husband, but it's just not gonna happen. You're gonna have to take me with this, you're gonna have to love me as I am. I think that this whole trip up the east coast of North Coast 500 has been amazing, even though I still feel like it would be nice to have a tiny bit more time for this. We still saw so many places and things. I would say my top three sites, baby sheep in the back of our glamping pod, the cat at uh, the Wallygo steps and the cutie lovebirds that we saw just uh, like an hour ago uh, by the sea coast. No, to be serious, uh, I think that some of the best sites here, the Wallygo steps definitely, that's like the place to go. Like if you had your way up here and maybe you were taking the ferry up into the islands, I would definitely stop by the steps and I would step by Dunrobin Castle because it is stunning and it looks like no other castle I've seen in Scotland. So definitely put that on your list, even if you're not doing North Coast 500 very distracted by a very cute dog. Sorry, you're never gonna see him. It's just, maybe you saw him in the reflection in my sunglasses. <laughs> enhance, enhance. Okay, we are gonna be finishing this video here. Don't forget that this is a series. So I'm gonna see you very soon in another video about North Coast 500, uh, in which we're gonna go from Jono Groats to, I'm guessing, Cape Wrath and slightly beyond. Yes, I'm gonna see you then. I'm gonna try and edit this as fast as possible for you. If you miss me, in the meantime, don't forget, I am on Instagram under KakiBot and KakiBlog. As always, you can always send me a message there. Tell me I'm great or tell me you're great. We're all great. Okay, that is truly it. I need to, I don't know, 
comb my hair, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and have a hot beverage because I have uh, underestimated how much colder it would be here on one of the most northern points of Scotland, which was probably stupid of me. Okay, thank you for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye!